back this is sumedha and indian yoga girl today we are going to do yoga for neck and shoulder relief practice <laughs> this is a beautiful short practice that will release tension in the neck shoulders and upper back and will help you feel more ease and spaciousness in your body and mind It is a fully accessible practice suitable for absolute beginners right through the advanced practitioners. So take a break from all your tasks and tend to your body. This under 20 minute session offers a bounty of energetic hygiene. Practice regularly. Love yourself and remember preventive care is the best care. All right, let's get started. All right, let's come into a mountain pose onto top of your mat. Firmly plant your feet into the mat from the heels, arches and the toes. Close your eyes and focus on inhalation and exhalation. Feel the cool air through the nose as you fill your lungs with the fresh air. You can hold the breath for a little while and then slowly exhale it. Let's continue two more deep mindful breath. Inhale all the way up. Hold your breath and release the exhalation through the nose. This time maybe you can do a little longer inhalation then hold pause and then exhale. Imagine each breath you are creating more space in the upper chest, shoulder girdle and upper back area. From there slowly come back, open your eyes. We are doing a standing deltoid stretch. Standing in the star asana, bring your right arm across the body with left wrist holding the elbow straight. Feel the nice warming stretch in your deltoid. Take four deep and slow inhalation and exhalation on the right side. Feel free to bring your neck towards the right side or towards the left side. And then slowly change. Repeat on to the opposite side. And slowly come back. We are doing the shoulder roll. One side and the other side. Rangila re, rangila re. Start rolling your right shoulder clockwise for four breaths. Switch to the counterclockwise for another four breaths. Switch to the left shoulder. And counter pose for the left shoulder. From there, slowly, let's do both of the shoulders. One side, other side, one side, another side. That's the right form of a rangila. Right shoulder clockwise, left shoulder clockwise, left shoulder anti-clockwise, right shoulder anti-clockwise. Right shoulder clockwise, left shoulder clockwise, left shoulder anti-clockwise, right shoulder anti-clockwise. One more time. And from there, slowly come back. Make a lotus from your fingers. Place the lotus fingers onto your shoulders and then bring both of the elbows together. And then as you inhale, bring the shoulders all the way towards the sides and towards the sky and then do the rotation. Five times clockwise here and five times anti-clockwise. Start to feel the upper body open while stretching the arms upwards. 
and downwards giving a nice massage to the spine and once it's done with clockwise and anti clockwise for four to five kinds of rounds then come back to the neutral tarasana with both when the both sides are completed from there we are coming into overhead shoulder stretch pose inhale raise your right arm up all the way up as you exhale the right arm folded the elbows are up and you are holding your elbows from your left hand pressing your elbows a little bit more down stay over there in this position and then from there slowly bring the right elbow more towards the left side stretching all the way right elbow and the sides here feel the stretch and come back change change the sides take the other hand up the left arm up then left elbows fold it from there you are holding your left elbow from the right hands pressing it and then from the from there slowly you are coming bending towards the right side stretching your complete side here stay for 3 for 2 for 1 and come back from there we are going to do cow mukhasana standing cow face pose the similar kind of uh, asana which we have done before if the hands doesn't reach please use the strap otherwise return back to tadasana bring your right arm overhead with the palms touching the upper back bring your left hand to meet your right hand at your back if you cannot reach your hand or make a grip with your fingers you may use yoga strap or a small towel as you breathe feel the lateral stretch down to the right shoulder muscles breathe for four counts and come back and change change to the other side bring the right hand to meet the left hand as i said if you cannot reach please use the strap or some kind of a belt and slowly come back beautiful from there we are coming into a mountain pose to his arms shoulder level bring both of the hands close to the chest and slowly as you inhale bring your left palm touching your heart center twist your upper body to the right while still keeping your right arm in that t shape feel the stretch intensify in the right shoulder blade and exhale continue doing it from the left and towards the right from the from switch the twist by bringing the right hand onto the heart left arm towards the t shape back on an exhale twist little bit deeper let's do four more times to the right to the left to the right to the left to the right to the left Awesome job awesome great from here we are going to do shoulder salutation sequence variation you are coming into a tadasana from the tadasana bring your hands back interlocking your fingers and lifting your knuckles up relaxing your shoulders let the gripped fingers come little bit more up and then as you exhale slowly bend forward forward fold let the knuckles come all the way up maybe one day these knuckles can touch to the ground maybe not 
but right now we are just trying to open up and then from there slowly come into a chair pose with the hands up and as you exhale slowly come back into a tadasana let's do two more times from the tadasana again interlock your fingers lifting the knuckles a little bit more up 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 and as you exhale forward fold letting your head relax letting the chest trying to come onto the chest lifting your knuckles even more up feeling the stretch onto the hamstrings and your shoulders and from there to the release and come to an utkatasana low chair pose stay over there tuck your back belly button in and your tailbone even more inside tuck it stay over there look at your toes are the knees crossing your toes or they are back for 3 2 1 and then slowly come back into a tadasana beautiful from there slowly again come back into a hand bound rising lotus pose bring the knuckles behind and then lift the chest up and every exhale you are opening your chest while the grip gripped hands are going more down feel the long stretch from your pelvic to your hand take a deep breath in and out beautiful from there we are coming into a goddess pose with the eagle arms open your legs heels are inside toes are outside separate your leg 3 to 4 inches apart press the core to your spine engage the glutes and the squat um, in this goddess pose bring your right arm under your left and grip the hands of an eagle arms keep the shoulders away from your ears this prevents any stress on the traps and the neck inhale lengthen through the spine exhale squat a little bit more down and then slowly your legs are still over there you are only switching your arms this time your left arm under your right and grip your eagle from there slowly come back bring both of the legs again together stretch slowly come into a tadasana from the tadasana inhale raise both of the arms up towards the ceiling and as you exhale bring from the two piece fingers hold your big toe come down in a forward fold position stay over there in this corella pose holding every exhale you are coming more down stretching your arms stretching your shoulders making your spine more straight 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 and then slowly come to half way inhale flat back and as you exhale slowly place your hands and come to a downward facing dog from the downward facing dog slowly with the love place your stomach down and come sweep your chest little forward and come into a cobra pose back of your legs are relaxed and then slowly lifting your hands up lifting your shoulders beautiful place the hands down again lift come to upward facing dog downward facing dog from the downward facing dog we are coming into a eight limbed pose ashtanga namaskara bring the knees down chest and chin down
and then slowly cross both of your hands from there come into a crocodile pose makarasana bringing the body down and then crossing your hands the left arm towards the right side right arm towards the left side in this makarasana variation pose place your forehead down onto your hands change change the sides of your hands the body is still the same and then very slowly bring both of the hands folded with your head resting on to the top breathe here and notice the increased strength you have created in your shoulders triceps and upper back area breathe natural bring all your awareness onto your shoulders do you feel a new found strength and you sense the openness you have created during the practice each inhale cooling through the nose each exhale releasing heart releasing heat not the heart <laughs> releasing the heat releasing the stress releasing the pain releasing the tension releasing the anxiety stay in silence for the internal reflection and recovery and then slowly turn towards the sides and come back to a sitting position thank you so much for sharing your beautiful energies with me thank you so much for watching and sharing your beautiful energies with me If you enjoy this video give a thumbs up and don't forget to click that subscribe button to make sure you stay up to date in all our new yoga and workout classes see you thank you so much namaste